Hi, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing one of my mystery unboxings. So I've done two of these prior. Um, I think they were in like September or October. And in December, I found a lot of 50 and 15 historical romances. So it was two different lots equaling up to 65 bucks. Yeah, 65 bucks. And I got this for $63. So pretty much a steal. Um, and it finally got delivered today and we are going to unbox it. I've already opened the box. I'm not going to lift it for you because it's a hefty one. It says that it's 29 pounds and that's just like I can lift it, but it's not going to happen right now. So let's get to it. I'm so excited guys. I've been itching to do another unboxing and I'm just so excited so anyways I'm sorry if you can hear my kids they're a little crazy tonight um anyways the I went through the same seller that I went through for one of my previous unboxings um I really liked the selection that they gave me um so let's see what 65 books came in. I'm gonna try and go through this quickly because I don't want this to be too long of a video. Um, but first things first is This Duchess of Mine by Eloisa James. And I'll get rid of that sticker. And there's a step back. Um, oh, this is cool. Um, this is Sanditon by Jane Austen. I have a copy of this, but here's a different copy. If you haven't seen this, um, show on, I think, yeah, PBS, um, I'm a sucker for Masterpiece Classics. They are awesome. I really enjoyed the adaptation of this. Next one in here is The Dragon's Bride by Joe Beverly. And it looks like it would have a step back, but it doesn't. It's a fake one. And then there is His Wicked Embrace by Adrian Basso. And that's a pretty cool cover. When did this come out? 99 and then this is summer of secrets by charlotte hubbard and again i'll get rid of that sticker that looks like an amish one and then oh mary balo then comes seduction Part of a different. I really like that cover. I wish, I wish there was a step back. I wish there were step backs on all of them. Let's be real honest. Okay, this is Tempt Me by Lucy Monroe. Look at that cover, guys. Ooh, this dress is gorgeous. Um, this is Forbidden by Nicola Cornick. Look at that dress. Delaney's Crossing by Jean Barrett. Cool old school cover. There's also a small picture on the back. What year was this? This was 97. Ooh, Stephanie Lawrence. I hate stickers. I'm gonna have to get these off. 
This is to distraction and it has a step back. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Ooh, another Stephanie Lawrence with another step back. Uh, this is the Edge of Desire. It looks like this is the same um, series. So here's the cover. Ooh, yes. Okay. The Bride of the Unicorn by Casey Michaels. That's an interesting title. This was published in 93. Not quite as old as me. Oh, I hate when the cover is cut. Oh, that pisses me off. <sighs> um, this is Compromised Hearts by Hannah Howell. No step back. I think that's what it's supposed to look like, but you can just see how disappointed I am. If I like this book, I'll probably look for a better copy and then give that one away. Ooh, a Julia Quinn. The Secret Diaries of Miss Miranda Cheever. No step back. Her Highness and the, Her Highness and the Highlander by Tracy Ann Warren. So that's cool. It's about a princess, it looks like. And obviously a Scott. And this one's floppy. I love when they're floppy. I feel like when they're floppy, the spines don't crack. Okay, and this is Texas Wildflower by Susan Wiggs. No step back. And... Christmas Angel by Joe Beverly. So this I think is um, the second Joe Beverly that came in here. And it's a Christmas one. I'm this year I'm definitely going to be doing a Christmas uh reading vlog. <gasps> Mind Till Midnight by Lisa Claypis. And bah, bah, bah. I love when they have step backs. At the Duke's Pleasure by Tracy Ann Warren. And gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Snowbird by Steph Ann Holm. This one looks old. How old is this one? 94, still not as old as me. Whispered Kisses by Janelle Taylor. This one's pretty. This was published in 1990. That's the year I was born. Wind Rider by Connie Mason. This kind of looks like it deals with Native Americans. Lord of Honor David by Grace Burroughs. Damn, it's floppy. I love when they're floppy. An interesting title. Okay. My Favorite Bride by Christina Dodd. And 
In Total Surrender by Anne Mallory. Provocative in the Pearls by Madeline Hunter. Ooh, I'm excited to have another Madeline P Hunter. Um, in December, I actually read Heiress for Hire by her, and I really liked it. So I'm excited to have more. <gasps> another Lisa Kleypas. Oh, I've been wanting this one. Lady Sophia's Lover. And it has a step back. Oh, there's... Why would you put a stamp on that beautiful picture? Just go to the next, they did it on the next page anyways. Why? Why? Oh, that pisses me off. I'm gonna have to find a new copy of this one. A Duke Too Far by Jane Ashford. Um, I also read a Jane Ashford last month, so that's kind of cool that I got a new one. And it's a fake step back. My foot is falling asleep. Step back. The Handbook to Handling His Lordship by Suzanne Enoch. I'm not sure if I have this one or not. I'll have to see because this cover looks really familiar. Either it's on somewhere in here or I have it in one of my carts that I've been building on either Better World Books or um, not eBay. I think I started a cart on Target too. White Wind by Susan Edwards, and this is a super old school looking cover. What year was this? This was 96. Scarlet Scandals by Carol Budd. Okay, this cover just like reminds me of like the old school movies. This is also 1990. Deadly Kisses by Brenda Joyce. I like that title. Also, this is like pretty good shape. This is a big book too. Rules of Attraction by Christina Dodd. I think this is gonna be like the fourth or fifth Christina Dodd book I have. Wild Wind Westward by Vanessa Royal. Another old school looking cover. Back. This kind of looks like they're um, like going on the Oregon Trail almost. Like look at that. Looks like the Oregon Trail. 1982 and it's like perfect condition. The Land Remembers by Ben Logan, another old school one, it's got sprayed edges. Nineteen seventy five. Interesting. This doesn't look like a uh, romance though. I mean, it's just all boys on the cover. So 
This is probably going to uh, go in the donate pile. Beyond Seduction. How many are in this series? Because I have three of them now. By Beyond Seduction by Stephanie Lawrence with a step back. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, yes. I'm excited to have more Stephanie Lawrence. My favorite rogue. Oh, this looks like it's a... Um, anthology. It's by Lynn Collum, Victoria Hinshaw, and Debbie Raleigh. Wally. The Raider by Jude Devereaux. Look at that cover, guys. So pretty. Nineteen eighty-seven. I'm running out of room. Amish Brides by Jennifer Beckstrand, Molly Jeber, and Amy Lillard. So another anthology. Ooh, this cover. Even Song by Candace Camp gives me like Princess Bride feels. The Medieval Dancing Girl. Southern Seduction by Alexandria Scott. Wedding the Widow by Jenna Jackson. Love purple. The Earl Claims His Wife by Kathy Maxwell. That's just, oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Highland Promise by Hannah Howell. Frankly, My Dear by Sandra Hill. This is giving me like, um, kind of like Gone with the Wind vibes. All About Seduction by Katie Madison. It's a pretty cover. Tempting the Earl by Rachel Miles. The Courtship Dance by Candace Camp. Ooh, it's got a step back. Look at that. Doesn't look like it would, but it does. That's why I always check. Highland Fire by Elizabeth Thornton. My Notorious Gentleman by Galen, Fo Galen Foley. Ooh, I love it. <clears throat> the Court of Three Sisters by Marianne William. Ooh. This one looks interesting.
1994. This is pretty good condition. Oh, I'm running out of room. The Viscount Needs a Wife by Joe Beverly. I have no idea what her face looks like, but there's a step back. That's cool. Oh, another Mary Balo. Simply Perfect by Mary Balo. I like the cover. My Ruthless Prince by Galen Foley. And another step back. I love the blue with the red hair. That is so pretty. Um, okay, Leah Greenwood's Seven Brides, and I think, I think Seven Brides is the series name, and this one's about Lily, because I think the title is Lily. It's an interesting cover. What year was this? 1996. Yeah, it says the Seven Brides series. Violet, Daisy, Laurel, Iris, Fern, Rose, and Lily. Temptation and Surrender by Stephanie Lawrence. Yes. I think Dana would like this one because of the yellow. Dana is very much a yellow and gold dress type of person when it comes to these romance books. The Lady Most Willing by Julia Quinn, Eloisa James, and Connie Brockway. So another anthology. To Tease a Texan by Georgina Gentry. I think there was a couple Texan ones. Blended by Julia Quinn. I'm happy to have more Julia Quinns. Highland Betrayal by Allison McLean. And hello, handsome Scott. The Lone Texan by Jody Thomas. Ooh, another Julia Quinn. The Secrets of Sir Richard Kenworthy. Down to the last three. Morning Song by Karen Robards, and it's a fake step back, but it's really pretty, and there's a pretty step back back cover. A Loving Scoundrel by Joanna Lindsay with a step back. And last but not least, Lord of the Privateers by Stephanie Lawrence, which also has a step back. Oh my god, this is a chunker of a book. This is 503 pages. Holy crap. Okay, um... Funnily enough, none of the books needed for Winter of Wallflower came in that mystery box. I was hoping I'd at least... <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so that's probably going to be my thumbnail. 
Um, let me put these down. Okay. Um, I'm shocked that not like none of them. I thought maybe one. I was hoping for maybe one. So now I just have to make a purchase. Um, that's why I have a cart ready for unbuild on Better World Books because yeah. But I'm so excited. My collection is growing and it's crazy. Um, there's no more room <laughs> at all. Oops. <laughs> um, let me know down in the comments if you've read any of these books, if you're wanting to read any of these books, what books do you think I should start with first? Um, I think I want to do a couple, like, specific reading vlogs. Um, you know, Dana's done one with the Dukes, and I think that's, like, kind of a cool concept, so I might piggyback off of her idea. Um, but yeah, let me know all your thoughts in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really does help, and... If you want to subscribe and you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it and I'd love you forever for it. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look at all of these books, read what they're all about, and see which ones I want to read first. Until next time, bye!